Hey trumpet players, it's time for line 113. Band is awesome. And I'll play it and then we'll talk about it. One and two and one and two. Okay, so the concept here is the dotted quarter and the single eighth note, and they talk about that on the top of the page. If you read what it says uh, next to the dotted quarter note, it says a dot after a note adds half the value of a note. And then it shows a little thing where it says a quarter note with the number one plus a dot half equals one plus a half, one and a half counts, okay? Now, um, dots, Sometimes people think, well, a dot's only always worth one because you know about the dotted half note, correct? But if you think about it, a half note with a dot is equal to three because the dot is worth half of the note that it follows, okay, or 50% if you want to think of it that way. So half of two is one, and that's why a dotted half note is two plus one is three. Hopefully not confusing you. All right, now... How they go about teaching us is this. They play the first measure, and it's four eighth notes. Uh, this is your foot. T, 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 T. Notice your foot goes down, up, down, up. And each motion of your foot, the down or the up, is a half a beat. That's like when we do eighth notes. T, T, right? They're half beats. So what they do is they have three Gs and an A, all right? And the second measure is the same thing. So it's going to go... T, 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 okay? And again, each eighth note's a half a beat, right? Then you look at the third measure, they tie the first three eighth notes together. So you get a combined note now, because what a tie does, aside from a fashion accoutrement, is it makes notes joined together into one note equal to the sum of whatever the individual parts are. So if you look at that, a half plus a half plus a half, you got it as one and a half. So when you get to the third measure, you got a note there that's one and a half beats long. All right. In the fourth measure, they take a quarter note. Quarter notes how long, guys? That's right. It's one beat. So your foot's going to go down and up during that quarter note. And then it's tied to an eighth note. That's when your foot comes back down. So again, that's equal to one plus a half, which is one and a half. Okay, so the fourth measure is the same as the third, except they have you grab a breath before the last note. Now, in the fifth measure is where they get into the dotted quarter and the single eighth note. Notice the dotted quarter notes just written there. That's worth one and a half. So it's the same thing as the three eighth notes tied or the quarter tied to the eighth. All right. And then the single eighth note, it looks like a quarter note with a little flag on it. That's how they write single eighth notes. All right. So when you practice this, I like to think of it this way, saying it out loud with the, the syllables, it goes like this, T, 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 rest. Now notice in the first measure I said T, 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 second measure, same thing, T, 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 then I said T, T, sort of kind of pulse the E's a little bit, but you, you combine them into one note. T, T, okay, that's kind of key. Then, ta, he, T, notice ta, he, T. And then finally, when we get into the fifth measure, ta, T. So what I always like to say to students is when you see a dot, a quarter note, ta, and then the dot is the ah, that's the extra half beat. It's the first part of the next beat, okay, just the down part. All right, so have fun figuring that out. By the way, hand clapping part of the bottom, um, basically what you would do is T, 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 you know, if you wanted to do that along with the, the recording of me playing it before or whatever. Okay, have fun.